aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. The shark is now an adult. Golden Shore's development was originally met with local protest, but those objections were easily circumvented with campaign donations to Planning Commission Director Steve Drake. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage. The shark fin traders come every year to Baton Tordu because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionalist body parts than a $450 Justice for her heinous crimes, the shark is now the subject of a bounty.
remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. It takes three hours of training and eight dollars to become a licensed shark hunter. No very bother with this formality. of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little trite and unimaginable. Shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Back when I was a boy, I thought I'd be a golfer. Well, damn if I didn't like sinking sharks a lot more better than sinking putts. See that hole there? Sunk it in one shot back in 93. And if Cliff Gillich tell you I didn't, he'll lie.
sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. Mighty Predator struggles for air. Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. Another shark hunt draws to a close. As coastal communities face ecological collapse and ruin, it's still reassuring to know you can get in your 18 holes. This is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. Oh. 
Not really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything. As you can see, the Gulf Coast has stopped growing cotton and rice and started growing luxury vacation homes. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. became commonplace here after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved largely ineffective.
It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. For now. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. at the entrance of the shark's nostrils allow her to identify elusive odors.
is about saving lives, but it's also about safeguarding tourism revenue. Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par 7 humdinger. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Did Golden Shores import this mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. The Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks, 